is. Aaron, how do you feel about that number that you'd have to lay on the Lakers? First of all, like we were talking about before the show, like LeBron is just such a crybaby. I'm sorry. He's just ridiculous. Like the fact it. he won't talk to reporters over that, come on. Uh, neither teams, neither <laughs> team is to be trusted in this spot whatsoever. Both are four and six against the spread in their last ten games. John Moran's finally back, so I do think that could have an impact mm-hmm. in this game. Whereas in the prior game, we saw the Lakers blow this team out a little bit, but again, they didn't shoot well. No John Moran. Nine since they're not getting up for the games. Do you remember the day after that happened, we were talking about, is this the time yeah. to bet the Lakers futures market? Because now they're well start, it, it's, it's hot, they're hot now. And we were all like, oh. Turns out it was well, not the time not to bet the, the Lakers <laughs> to, like to win the I'm NBA sorry. championship. Yeah. Uh, I will point this out if you do believe in your <laughs> Lakers or a Laker fan. The Grizz are 1-4 and four in their last five, and they have a 30-point loss to the Nuggets and a 40-point loss to the Kings in there. The only one was against the Spurs, who are not exactly a world beater. So just FYI again, if you Do you feel like LeBron, since you're a fan, will just come out and fire and they're going to get the I culture you, back suddenly? I think you owe an apology to LeBron James for <laughs> besmirching his good I'm name. I'm saying. He, I'm not smearing his name. <laughs> Coming <laughs> up on today's show. For those who know, this is a dangerous segment here. Fortinball. Why is it dangerous? Spelled correctly. (laughs) Or Fadenball. Here's how it works. EKD is going to hear three picks I like. If she's with me, she's Fortinball. If she's against me, she's Fadenball. It's dangerous. Simple. Because the first time we did this, I went two and one, but you went one and two. And the last time we did it with Sam Acho, I went two and one. And Acho went one and two. Oh. Well, please uh, confirm that. I, I need a to see it on the screen. Me. Making sure you're not oh, fibbing. Oh, it's confirmed. Are you fibbing? Oh, it's okay. confirmed. No fibbing. But let's focus. Fibbing. Business. First game is tomorrow. <laughs> First game out of the shoot. Ravens plus three over the Steelers. I am backing Baltimore in this spot. Two key reasons. People tend to overvalue the situation you're going to see right here. Pittsburgh with everything to play for. Mm-hmm. Baltimore with nothing to play for. In addition, you've got Mason Rudolph, who looks really good against two. Uh, Mine was right, at least. <laughs> Get his name right. Thanks, Tyler. Tyler. It is now time for EKD's top three. These are the top three things I think you need to know when betting into the NBA tonight. The first thing we're going to go over is what does the public like for tonight? Well, everyone's liking the Dallas Mavericks. 81% of the tickets, not to mention 91% of the money on ESPN bet is for the Dallas Mavericks to cover this spread against the Portland Trailblazers. Now, these teams have played twice this season. The Dallas Mavericks have won by an average of 12 points, but that was with Luka dropping 40. That was with Luka dropping 32. And now that Luka's questionable, I'm just saying it's a lot of money and a lot of tickets if he doesn't end up playing in this game. Now, as for a trend that you need to know, the Brooklyn Nets, they've been terrible against the number in the last 10 games, 1-9 and nine against the spread. They take on the Oklahoma City Thunder, who, by the way, just beat them by 16 points. Also, OKC has been a league best, 8-2 and two against the spread in the last 10 games, while they've been the absolute worst. The line's moving in favor of OKC despite them playing on the road tonight. Lastly, as for a play that I like, my best bet for tonight is going to be the Boston and Celtics to go over 126 and a half total points for their team total. They've been 9-1 and one to their team total over in the last 10 games, which is the best mark in the league. But it's not just that. It's the fact that the Boston Celtics are playing in TD Garden, where their offensive rating is one of the best at home. They're a different team at home than on the road, like most teams, but it just feels like the Boston Celtics, they can get things rolling against this Jazz defense that's ranked 24th in defensive efficiency. So that's my best bet for tonight. And those are three things that you need to know when betting into the NBA tonight. Tyler, what else you got for us? Joining us now with much more. Welcome to the big set. I know, You've never I've never been on here. the desk. I feel like everywhere else in the studio I've been, but never right here. This is amazing. All happy right. Friday. All right, happy Friday to you. What's your best bet for this NFL doubleheader tomorrow? So I'm looking at the Baltimore Ravens with the points. It's currently plus three. It's moved down from plus four. So I wish it was a divisional matchup. I don't think it's just going to be that easy for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So alternate line plus three and a half for the Baltimore Ravens tomorrow. To your point, Steelers have won this matchup in Baltimore the last three seasons. And each game has been decided by four or fewer points. Exactly. It's a rivalry game, no matter who's playing. You can play it. All right, we've got a full slate of NBA games tonight. What's your best bet in the NBA? Look at the Boston Celtics team total over 126 tonight. I do like the team total over for them. By the way, the Celtics averaging over 120 points per game this season, fifth best in the league. Aaron, you can always come back here. Yes, please. Especially this is amazing. Look at this.